Today we are tying the Surf Candy, originally created by Bob Popovics. We're going to be tying this on a Gamagatsu SC15 hook in size 1 eye. Instead of thread, we will be using a clear monofilament. It's a very subtle fly, great for imitating small surf bait, and is almost clear in the water. We want to start by wrapping our monofilament about halfway down the hook shank and cutting off the excess. The fiber we are using today is called Unique Hair, but you can use any crimped fiber that is somewhat see-through. We want to trim off a small section of our belly color, usually clear. In order to not waste, I will be cutting this in half since I only need half the length. Make sure to taper the ends by pulling on some of the fibers. Remove any hairs that are bent outward or not lying flat. Measure out the length that you want your fly and trim off the excess. This forms a square tie end point. We want to tie in our fiber at the top of the hook with two loose wraps. You may now let your bobbin hang loose. Then proceed to twist the fiber around the hook shank. Make sure the entire hook shank is covered with fibers on all sides. Then take a few more tight wraps to clinch down the fibers. Next, cut a few strands of fine flashaboo. You can wet the strands to keep them together and make it easier to tie in. Tie in your flashaboo at about the center with a few tight wraps. Make sure it is tied on the top of the hook shank. Then fold over the flashaboo on itself and tie in that side as well. Next we will cut a single strip of wide flashaboo, the saltwater version, and tie it in on one side of the fly ensuring that it is angled straight back. Cut the flashaboo close to the tie-in point. Use that cut strand and tie it in on the other side of the fly. Make sure it is the same length as the previous strand of flashaboo. This forms a lateral line and pearl belly. Next we are going to cut the back color of our fiber. In this case I am using olive. We will want to use the same amount of fiber as our belly color. And we will want to taper the ends in just the same way. We will want to measure the length to about the same length as our belly color and cut it on a square again. Then we will tie this in on the top of the fly with a few tight wraps. Proceed to build a tapered head on the fly. You may now whip finish. Next we will add the eyes. I am using gold 3D eyes. Make sure the eyes are perfectly aligned by looking at the fly from above and from the front. After adjusted, push together firmly. We are now going to epoxy the fly. I am using Solara's UV curing epoxy. To start, I take their thin, hard formula to lock the eyes in. Just apply a small amount between the eyes and cure. Then we will again take the thin, hard formula and coat the belly and back of the fly. Cover to about the bend of the hook and smooth out with your bodkin. I use this thin formula to ensure it penetrates well and coats all the way down to the hook shank. Take your bodkin and spread the epoxy down to about the bend of the hook ensuring that all the fibers are covered. Mm -hmm. 
Now we can cure the epoxy. And this is your first epoxy coat. Next, I take Solaris's thick, hard formula to build the body of the fly. This stuff is very thick and will sit on top of your fibers. It also does not drip as easily and you can spend more time in shaping the body. If you have any spots that need more epoxy, add some before curing. Once you shape the body to how you want it, cure the epoxy. Now we want to add some gill marks. To do this, I use a sharpie. My final step for this fly is to use a new formula made by Solarez called Bone Dry. This can be applied like head cement and will give the fly a beautiful sheen. It cures very quickly and will make the fly smooth and non-tacky. You can set the fly in the sun for a few minutes to really make sure the entire fly is cured thoroughly. We are using a lot of epoxy here, so I do this for added security. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. You can leave your questions in the comment section below. We'll catch some fish.